Good day, YouTubers. This is a 12 volt, 24 volt charger that I got off eBay from China. Now, surprise, surprise, for something from China, it worked three or four times and then it stopped working. So I pulled it apart to see if I can find what's wrong and fix it. Now, I've already done the investigation to see if it could be fixed before I started videoing. There's not much exciting about a video showing you that I had to bin it. Now, it turns out it can be fixed. I've had a look at the bridge rectifier in here and that seems to be burnt out. A bridge rectifier is the thing that takes the AC current that comes from your mains and converts it to a DC current which can charge your batteries. The conversion is more or less a DC. Uh, depending on the quality of the bridge rectifier, there's going to be noise in it no matter what. But that's the basis that this works on. If you know anything about bridge rectifiers, you'll know that they can be tested with an ohmmeter. If you don't know anything about bridge rectifiers, you can Google and find out how to test it with an ohmmeter. But while I'm showing you what I did, I'm not recommending that you do it unless you are comfortable and experienced in working with mains power. The truth is that if you make a mistake here, you can potentially kill yourself. So be sensible. If you don't know what you're doing, don't try or at least learn how to do it before you try. Now, I've done my best to prevent people from collecting a Darwin Award, so let's get on and see exactly what I did to fix this. The clips were on fairly tight and I had to resort to getting a pair of needle nose pliers to help me lever them off. Probably could have done it with a screwdriver, but anyway, needle nose pliers got them off, except for one. That one proved impossible to get off. Couldn't quite figure it out at the time, it's a bit hard to see, so I undid the nut and took the whole thing out so I could get a better look at it. Getting the rectifier out wasn't all that hard and once I had it out I could see what was wrong, why I couldn't get the last clip off. And that was someone thought it would be a really good idea to solder it onto the rectifier. I don't think they did it intentionally, I think they'd put it all together and they needed to solder the wire on for the meter and they just soldered the whole thing in place, soldering the clip to the rectifier at the same time and probably putting enough heat into the rectifier to ensure that it would fail after a few uses. Gotta love that quality control. Alright, well, there's no denying that the Chinese make cheap stuff, but there's a reason it's cheap. Now, here's the broken one that I took out. I broke that off just trying to pull the connector off of it. And the reason that that broke off, pulling the connector off, was these wires have been soldered in there, and that's fair enough. But when they soldered it, they must have had the clip on this because this was soldered to the pin and the heat stress from soldering that to the pin may have been what caused this to fail in the first place. So really, really, really poor quality control work. See if I can get it to happen regardless. So far so good. See if I can tin this one up and I'll just make sure it's going to go on and off a new one.
pound of heat paste. It's just this little tiny syringe. And it's got a little bit of heat paste in the end of it. Pull the top off. Just put a bit around there. Don't need too much. And yeah, just put that down up that way for a second. underneath and we'll turn this around put him on there and see if we can get this nut on that didn't even bother with the washer oops yeah. not as easy as it looks all right i'll have to tip this up on its end because i'm going to have to try and Position this with one finger and turn the screw to turn it backwards until I can feel he's on the earth going on. I don't want to tighten this up too much because I don't want to put too much pressure on the rectifier. This needs them to be firm. Rectifier in place. We can put the undamaged clips back on. One. <laughs> yeah, they've even got the heat shrink has gone down over the end of this, which does go to show that it was certainly assembled while everything was in place, which hasn't been. A real good thing for it. Now, before I put this one in, I need to do something about insulating that. I think I'll just use a bit of electrical tape to get that done. See if that works now. Got that all back in place. And just one other thing about this battery charge oil on the subject. It came from China as I said. And it was touted as one of these battery chargers that will condition the battery. A smart battery charger in other words. Well, if you have a look in there, there's nothing smart about this battery charger. There's a transformer, there's a bridge rectifier, there's a gauge, there's a couple of switches and fuses. That's it. It is not smart at all. Nothing clever at all about it. Just plain false advertising. But hopefully it's going to work again now. So that's all there is to it. Job done. All right, time to put it all back together. put it all back together again, not because I'm so confident with my ability to repair it, but because if it doesn't work now, it's going in the garbage tin. But the bridge rectifier definitely was uh, kaput, so I expect it will work. Alright, give it a try. Got him hooked up to the tractor, which probably needs a little bit of a charge by now. It hadn't been used in a little while. Let's turn him on. Oh! I saw the gauge move. I just put the boost up and yes, she is charging. Excellent work. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As you can see, I now have a working battery charger once again. It wasn't hard to fix. It was just a matter of having a look and seeing what was broken. I have to say, you probably do need to know how to test a bridge rectifier to be able to diagnose it. But on the other hand, there's no smarts in this battery charger, so it's got to be the bridge rectifier or the transformer. If it's a transformer, you can throw it in the bin. The bridge rectifier is only about three or four dollars to try. So worth trying to see if you can fix it because the battery charger itself costs a couple hundred. And anyway, that's it. 
if you'd like to see more of my videos, you can go to my YouTube channel or go to my website. Until next time.